Now I'll show you how I create the new component. For example, I can I can create zero error r level six. I go to resistors. I usually use this one, this manufacturer. I want only in stock. Now there are three. I use this one which can be buy in smaller quantity. And we have here the information. Now let's go to the schematic, the library. These are some resistors. I usually just copy and paste the resistor. Now it's this one. I've got the symbol here now. Everything what I need to do is copy the data. Means I always use this as a component name rename okay and now this here resistors file number Manufacturer is same, manufacturer part number. It's uh, level six. This is not there. Tolerance is jumper. This is not there. Or is it? Ah, it's this one. Okay. Resistance zero. And this is what I use to show. Remove this, and I will put there the footprint when I create it. Now we got the component with all the per searching information, and as you can see, it was very, very quick. I normally order or components from DigiKey because they have very good uh, search, they have a lot of components and they have, I like this da uh, database what they have because once you know this number you can even easily find data sheet and uh, I use this uh, always this column I use uh, as the parameter properties name and this other column I always use as a value then it means uh, because I use almost always this standard database all my components have same uh, same names for all the parameters In case I need to use a component from different manufacturer, I try to keep the names same as used in DigiKey. Or I find a similar component in DigiKey and see what what the values and what the what the parameters are there. Now let's create a footprint. I always use component with that uh, because I can always uh, start with a with something what is here, something similar. I'm going to make resistors. I use millimeters. Uh, 
and um, I have a document this one this is general for green for resistors 1206 and everything what I do I'll just put here the values I call it resistor 1206 finish control C click control V This is the footprint. Now save the library. Go back to the schematic. Okay. Find the footprint. Ta-da! It's done. Now everything what we need to do is compile compile the library. Go to our schematic. Zero ohm. Uh, Twelve oh six. This is our component. As you can see, with all the information here proper footprint now it can be used as many times as we want it's simple to create a similar component what you already have in your database uh, such resistors or capacitors as you could see uh, I just pressed copy and paste this way you also copy all the parameters together with the component in case uh, you are going to create a component, for example, integrated circuit, then uh, you will need to start from, or you may you may want to start from a new component. By this way, as you can see, there are no parameters. What I usually do is I use parameter manager I find it here this is the component one and uh, I add the field here doing it this way I'm sure the name is same and also I can directly copy and paste the parameters here from, from the website and now if you you can see the parameters are here I usually do this for for the basic parameters like manufacturer manufacturer part number price but for integrated circuits you may need to add more parameters Okay, and value. Now, how I use uh, how I use this parameter, or how these parameters are used when you generate the bomb. We go back to schematic. reports bill of materials as you can see you can select a template what are the templates 
the templates are located in directory templates and this is one what uh, what I what I created but I actually used the template provided by Altium and I just modified to use my parameters and here in this table are the parameters see this category manufacturer manufacturer part number these are the parameter names and uh, when I use this template for example category I need to edit here when I use this template then the category parameter is filled from the component now I go back to schematic and I'll show you how I set up these libraries make it easier for me to look for, for a component if you press right click and select columns I usually select only these three you can you can select more uh, but these three are enough for me and you can reorder them the way you want you prefer yeah? and then uh, when I want to look for a component I always use as a first sign star a star and then write the value and in the description description is you remember this is the description which we copied from the DG key also tells me for example footprint value and all the other information Altium is very good in putting things together everything what you need is in one package uh, schematic PCB libraries then use it because it will really help you save your time and uh, and, and minimize the mistakes uh, in your designs it's not simple but uh, the best way is start with a smaller and simple design or project and uh, you will see your proper Altium Designer library will grow up very easily and very quickly if you are asking question yourself why I should use the integrated library then maybe it would be great to watch the uh, first part of this video which explains uh, benefits of using the integrated library